All right, YouTube, this is half of a solar-powered LED spotlight. And this is mounted on the roof, and it weighs south. The roof isn't really that pitched, so it doesn't really matter on this side. Would have put it on that side, ideally, but the goats would be tripping it all the time, so keeping it over here more. Put a nail in here and screw here, and I don't think I'll need to fasten this down. It's pretty sturdy. This should definitely hold up, and I'll show you part two in a second. Take note, Uncle Honey. This is a trick I learned from the fire department. Wrap your leg around something and then back in so you won't trip, and I can be here hands-free. All right, so we run the line down, and it's got about 10 feet of wire. Well, now it just went off, and there it is. Mounted there. You can change all the settings on there. I think it's um, Lux, Sensitivity, and Time. So Lux should be Light Sensitivity to like how bright it is when it turns on and off. Time is how long it's on. Sensitivity is up. Sensitivity to motion. And that's being picked up pretty darn bright in the daytime for a 14 LED bulb that I bought online for 40 bucks. Not too bad if you shop around. All right, YouTube, I'm gonna be testing this out now. Uh, we turn the light off on this, so it'll be a true reading of what and it looks like. Well, I need to get this off. Ready? Walking in blind. Damn it. Well, there it is. I need to, I need to fiddle with the settings. But look, lights up everything so far. And I need to make this more sensitive, I think. That's the feed area right there. And that is where we want it to shine. Right back there. I don't know how well it's picking it up, but I can see it just fine. And um, turn this back on for you. I'll come back with an update once I get all the um, the settings adjusted and all that stuff until we get it right. Tube, I think I got this thing figured out almost. I'm, I'm gonna walk through and show you, show you as it turns on. All right, I'm walking through blind. Where am I going? Bam! Let's see if that if it picks it up or not. Yeah. Well. I can see just fine in here. To me, it kind of looks like that, but the camera isn't is not is not as sensitive to it. So I'm happy with it. I can see enough because from there you can see that light thing provides just enough light for you to come into this point. And then as soon as you start walking in here and go to the dark area, this thing lights right up again, just like that. Now, now that I have it set, I'm going to turn the time duration to a lot more. I have it to the minimal time, so I wouldn't be running the whole time. But now I'm going to have it the longest time duration possible. So that way it gives us time to go over there, tinker around with whatever we're going to do, and then get a few minutes to come back here and it'll shut off automatically. I think this thing is rated for like three hours total runtime off of a charge, which is pretty cool. Not bad for $40. All right, never mind. I made it more sensitive, so as soon as I walk in, it just kicks right on. So I'm going to take you for a quick tour through there. And this is what it looks like from my perspective, roughly. Ready? I'll turn this off. As soon as I get to here, bam, it's already on. Just really sweet. No more stubbing your toes on this, smacking into that, or hanging your knee on something like that, or tripping over anything. But it's not, it's not sensitive enough for the cat to set it off, which is good.